blowing open the craft hole. It is going to be a very explosive show. You see what I did there? We have already had an hour of craft hole. This is your second instalment of the day, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Adding that extra show in at the end of the day, so you guys over on the West Coast, you get you know a lunchtime show now, which is absolutely awesome. Loads of you saying hello to me already, which I love. Uh, Sarah Brown is in the building. She says, hello, yep, I'm back. What am I like? Uh, what's the time in... Uh, in Australia, oh, um, oh, Sarah's our craft ambassador on Monday. I am really looking forward to that. Jane Yeomans is in, Sam McDonald is in from a very dark and cold Darlington. Isn't it cold here uh, in the Northeast? Diane's in from Tennessee. Michelle saying hello, everyone. Catherine Riley from New Jersey's in. I can see Abs is here. Mary in Tennessee is it? I mean, we've got all the favourites are here. Sally Bond says hi. What better? Cup of coffee, crumpets, and crafters TV. <laughs> I thought she meant me then, she said crumpets. Um, <laughs> now, talking of my favourite little crumpet, uh, Debbie Robinson's here. Are you right, Debbie? Are you excited? I love that. I love that name, crumpet. I love that, my I little love crumpet. crumpets, full stop, Joe. I don't know about you. And I'm dreaming of crumpets right now, let me tell oh, you. Oh, lashings of, <laughs> lashings of butter, Debbie. <gasps> you... So much butter, it runs down your face. Oh. Oozes of the stuff and peanut butter. And, and peanut butter on a crumpet. Honey on there, yeah, some honey on there. Let me think what else. I'm trying to think of all those lovely different things that you can put on a crumpet. Oh, Joe, let's stop. Let's stop because my, my belly, <laughs> my belly's like... Brum, brum. And even though I've had my packet of discos and my lovely chocolate bar that, <laughs> that, that I've been filling up on, yeah. it's still not cutting it. We did an emergency... Well, we, I did an emergency stack run. I had chocolate. Deb, me and Debbie had crisp and chocolate. Laura, producer Laura, had a uh, sugar-free lemonade drink. It sums <laughs> up, really, us. George is being very good at the, at the minute. George had nothing at all whatsoever. Nothing for George. Anyway, shall we dive in and show you what's coming up in this show? We had a very busy show uh, this morning at 11 a.m. Uh, UK time. Uh, and what I, but do you know what the good news is? That um, nothing's sold out yet. So everything is still available. Let's whiz through what you've got. It's a buy one, get one free theme through the whole car, uh, through the whole craft vault for you. So let's start with the Ultimate Pro. That is on the show. You buy the Ultimate Pro, you get the Score Master totally free of charge in this configuration just here. If you've not seen the Ultimate Pro before, it's an absolute must. Uh, the large background stamps, these were really busy earlier in the show. You've got two different collections in here. So you've got Distressed Harlequin and the newspaper collage. 40% of a big stock of those has sold out and gone. So do be quick for those if you want them. Now, rocker blocks. These are always an essential. Uh, great for stamping. Whether you're doing larger stamps or smaller stamps, they are. You've got something for every stamp size, basically, in here, which is awesome. Uh, 9.99 or 13.99 if you want to go for those ones. The colour tints are available on the show. They are a half price deal, 16.99 or 22.95 uh, is your price on those. Uh, they were the favourite in the earlier show, so uh, we'll show you those again a little later. Uh, we've also got some edibles. Well, it wouldn't be a it wouldn't be a craft fault without some edibles. Now these are great, these edibles, because they they kind of are edible, but they're not an out. They're not an edible because you've got the outside edge is removable in two pieces. Seven ninety nine there. Forty percent of the stock of those have sold out and gone. Oh, we've got some premium Spectrum Noir products on the show for you as well. These are the Tri Blend markers. Coastal Blends Collection, uh, and you're going to get the Finesse Alcohol Proof Ink Pad included totally free of charge as well. $19.99 or $29.95 if you would like to see those ones. Friend, special friend. And also with love uh, are what you are getting in your pop-out um, Gemini dies here. A third of the stock of this one has gone. This is about making the inside of your cards as excited as the outside of your cards. Now, the Spectrum Noir Discovery Kits, they are... Awesome, really, really awesome. I um, did one, I had a little go at the watercolour one um, over the weekend. Uh, it's not over the weekend, because today is Saturday, Debbie, <laughs> and therefore it's Monday in my head. My weekend's just finished. Yeah. Over my weekend, what was the week for you? 11 99 you pay for the concept design discovery kit, and we send you the Nina Classic card stock totally free of charge. Now we've got the Gemini Festive Word Edgeables collection on the show. You've got joy and peace. Two things that we'd all love in our life. $4.99 gets you both of those, or 7 95 
Uh, it's a jam. It's a jam-packed show, isn't it? I mean, there's loads in it. You've got absolutely brilliant deals, and loads of you are chatting away with us already. What we want you to do is, we want you to. We're a bit disappointed, Debbie. Really, aren't we? We are indeed. We feel. Do you know what? I'm going to go as far as to say I feel like you've let us down a little bit. <laughs> um, we wanted to see some fancy dress pictures of everyone, didn't we, Debbie? We did. And we wanted you to email those pictures. We did. We wanted to, you to email those pictures to us at studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. And we wanted to share them with everyone. Now, should we, should we show our ones then first, Debbie? Go see on if we then. can get, and that maybe will inspire people to get in. Here's my favourite dressing up outfit. Uh, Debbie, and this was at uh, Glastonbury in 2019. <laughs> there is a sparkly sequin them. bolero. There's an Alexa, please play Eurovision t shirt, gold lame <laughs> pants, a rainbow bum bag, and multicolored trainers. Oh, and a rainbow bandana as well. I mean, it's quite a look, isn't it? Uh, I love that one. But this one I love as well. We may have had to have cropped this one slightly. We've cropped it slightly, but can I tell you, don't I told you about my toilet incident falling asleep? Yeah. What I forgot to mention was that I was in fancy dress at the time. What, as who? Because this was the night in question. Oh, was it? So, uh, yes, this was the night in question when this incident happened. What? I was in an ABBA outfit. So you can imagine they were flares. I can't show you the rest because it was quite a low cut top. Uh, <laughs> But uh, dressed in my very fine, that was a very shiny, shiny, shiny uh, <laughs> outfit. Dressed as Abba, uh, yes. That's, falling asleep so that in was, the loo for you can three now, hours. You, now you've got that picture and now you can see me sat on that toilet falling asleep. There you go. That's, uh, that's my share of the night. And not one but two pictures, Debbie. Tell us about this next outfit. Oh, this one with G.I. Jane, look. G.I. Jane. <laughs> this, is when, this was another Blackpool um, weekend, uh, as you can see, all fancy dressed. Uh, and uh, I absolutely love that outfit. I, I, I've still got it to this day. The only thing is I can't fit in it quite oh. as well as I did then. But never mind. No, never mind. But black, it all happens in Blackpool by the sounds of it, Debbie. I've never been to Blackpool. Can you believe that? And I don't live that far away. I think I'm only about an hour and a half away in Manchester. I need to write that wrong, Debbie, don't I? You, you do, do you know indeed. what, Debbie? Next time you and the girls are off to Blackpool, you give me a ring and I'll, I'll get a lift. I'll come. You have to, <laughs> I bet you have to come past mine, you know, to get there pretty much. So, uh, right, let's move on. Enough of our antics. Enough of Debbie's antics in, uh, in Blackpool. What we've got uh, for you, firstly, is the storage. Now, the storage is awesome. These are ever popular, these storage. With this particular deal, what you also get is you get the magnetic panels included as well. And this is fantastic because it allows you to st store your dies safely because dies are brilliant. They are a fantastic addition to any crafter stash. And if you look after them, they're going to last you forever. That's the awesome thing about them. And this is how you look after them, keeping them on their magnetic sheets so you know that they're not overlapping. They're all going to be there, ready to go uh, whenever you need them, which is fantastic. Now, we're going to give you three of the magnetic sheets in here to get you started. But what you can also then do is, if you want to, add more magnetic sheets. Or what you could do as well is add maybe some of the acrylic panels in here as well. You'll find the acrylic panels on the website. And the acrylic panels are how you store all of your different stamps cleanly and nicely so they stay in totally mint condition. Uh, 14 99 or 14 95 if you want to go for that one. We're going to start with, though, the colour tints because uh, we these have, this is a fantastic deal. They were on yesterday's Craft Vault, uh, but we brought them back because they were so busy. Now, they should be 16 99 or 22 95 However, what you're getting is you're getting the Nature, you're getting both of them for that, and you're getting the Primary. They are beautifully um, packaged as well. From Spectrum Noir, so you're talking artist grade quality here, no filler or anything like that in these. You've just got pure pigment and they are a watercolour with added graphite. They are brilliant. They are very different though, aren't they? Um, well, subtly different, I'd say, Debbie, to our regular watercolour pencils. So we have normal watercolour pencils, but these, how would you describe the difference? They're tinted graphite pencils. That's exactly what they are. These are, oh, do you know, you can use these in either dry or wet because once you introduce water into them, the intensified colour that you're going to get is just beautiful. You can sketch with these, you can you can colour in with them. Uh, honestly, Joe, these are beautiful. And I'm going to show you, I can't believe still that we're doing this price. Buy one, get one free because these are really beautiful pencils. I love 
these colour tints. They're one of my favourite mediums in our pencil range and they're absolutely beautiful. Now there's two colours that they come in. We've got a primary set and I'm just going to open that up so you can see the lovely uh, primary colours. Now they're muted. They're not your traditional primary colours uh, but you can see that beautiful quality pencil there and then the other one is the nature and the nature are all your softer colours, your nature colours with your browns and, and your, you know, your, your, your nature coloured inspired pencils uh, but these are absolutely beautiful like I said you can provide a subtle tint when you use them dry so let's just use one dry I'm going to use um, let's go with the vintage rose I've just literally stamped with my rocker block um, one of our uh, floral uh, stamps that we do here at crafters companion because this is a water-based product i've actually gone on to the cardstock which is watercolor cardstock and i have used our finesse waterproof dye as well which is the um, appropriate uh, ink pad to use when you're using anything that's water-based but straight away when you get your uh, when you lay your pencil down you can literally and you can get blending with these as well but i'm just going to scribble a little bit down and then I'm going to take a brush to them. But like I said, um, Joe, you can use these dry if you want to use them dry. But what happens is when you pop a damp brush onto them, you can start. And can you see how intensified oh, wow. that colour is? You could do your watercolour effects with these. They're absolutely beautiful. And it is just drawing it out with a damp brush. You could take a water brush. I'm using one of the Royal uh, Langnickel brushes here. Uh, but you can use, uh, do you know our Spectrum Noir water brushes? You can use one of those as well. And all it is, Joe, is a question of watching it just transform when you add that water and how beautiful and it's like i said it's muted is probably the best word we could describe these muted colors uh, but again just literally take a little piece and i'm not even using i'm barely putting any pressure on this jaw um, and do you know what else you can do is mix a couple of the colours up as well. So all the oh, things that nice. you can do with your aqua blends where you can mix your colours, you can do exactly the same with this. And I'll, I'll demonstrate that in a moment for you. But they are absolutely beautiful. And like I said, if you love your sketching, these are going to be perfect for your sketching as well. Um, but I love the effect that it may, you know you get when you bring water into the equation and are really gorgeous. And you can add to it as well, Joe. Once it's dry, you can add a little bit more to it. Now, I'm going to go in with one of the green ones and I'm going to just pop a little bit down there and then a little bit on that bottom part. There we go. And again, just take a brush and then pop that on and watch it all come to life. It really emulsifies together, doesn't it? Yes. All that pigment. I mean, they do look nice when they're down dry i think adding the water really softens them somewhat doesn't oh, it oh really absolutely joe um and again like i said let's see if we can mix a go have what have we got in this one let's have a nosy in this one um let's there's a lot of love in. for our photos debbie <laughs> uh, I'm not mary surprised, says joe. uh great photos <laughs> uh, aisha says you two look fantastic sam, oh, thank you uh saying lovely photos of debbie <laughs> thanks sam <laughs> what am i chop liver uh, <laughs> I'm joking. Dancing Queen Debbie, uh, says Ingrid. Teresa says, I love these photos showing Debbie. Rose says, priceless. Angela says, Joe, you need to get yourself to Blackpool. It's amazing. Forget Las Vegas, is what uh, she says. Jane got these pencils as well the other day. And Caroline saying, couldn't believe the price. So shopped ahead and bought this last night. Now I am eyeing up the colour blends. Um, we still haven't had any photos of anyone else's fancy dress, though. Debbie. Come on, we want to see some. Oh, we no. want to see some. I'm sure you're not that shy. Oh, we've got oh, a couple coming oh. in. Woo, woo. Keep Wee them coming hey, in. That's what I like. That's what Sarah, I like to hear. Sarah Brown says, it's confirmed then. Joe mentioned it now, so I can guess I'm really pleased to say I'll be the craft ambassador. How exciting. Really excited to meet Laura. Doesn't, doesn't mean, doesn't mean, but she's not excited to meet me. No, I'm only joking. Oh, she not, I hope job. she is anyway. Oh. <laughs> uh, Susie T says, could you use a clear sparkle pen instead of a water brush? Oh, oh, now then. Who's just mentioned that one? Susie T. Oh, Susie. Well, let, yes, you can. Sparkle clear overlay oh, as pencil. If, as if by magic. As if by magic. I've got one in my bag. So let us go in with, where's that purple one gone? Where's that purple one gone? What have you done with it, Debbie? Where were it a minute ago? I had it in my hand a minute ago. Joe, can you see it? Oh. 
Let's just uh, pretend you didn't see it. Uh, we're right in front of me, Joey. We're right in front of me. But let's just scribble a little bit. And I'm insane, scribble a little bit down. But then take your sparkle pen, and it is water-based. So what are you going to get this time? You're going to get a lovely sparkle effect because this acts as a water brush, but you've just got that added, um, added sparkle. So absolutely. What was that lady's name again? Can you remember who made the Susie comments? Susie T. Susie, absolutely Susie. So I answered to your question, can you do use these with them? Yes, you can. Oh, well, a bit like Bob the Builder then. Uh, but there you go. Look how gorgeous that is. And I'll just finish my last one there. Let's go in with... Shall we have a blue one? Shall we have a blue flower? Why a not? What? Let's have a blue flower. Oh, yes. Probably okay. not a blue flower in real life, but however, we can colour whatever we want, can't we, Joe? Uh, Hazel says, I absolutely love Debbie Robinson. She has such a good sense of humour and is so... Knowledgeable. Oh. How Aww. lovely is that? Oh, bless um, you. What is the difference, Karen Dunn asked, between the colour blend and the colour tint? So the colour blend, um, let me get this right now. This is... Oh, wait, Debbie, colour, Debbie, Debbie. Colour, colour blend, blend are uh, wax uh, pencils, aren't thank they? Thank you, Joe. Yeah, there are wax-based pencils. Uh, the, the graphite one... So they don't react with water. They're wax-based, no. so you won't so get this movement. Yeah. Aqua tint. Pencils, aqua, aqua, aqua yeah, blends. Yeah, the aqua, aqua blends. blends. Yep, so absolutely. So they're our regular watercolour pencils, aren't they? And then yep. these are our pencils, watercolour pencils with graphite. With the graphite, yes. So, so you've got the more, added elements. They're more cooler in tone, would you agree, Debbie? Yeah, absolutely. You've got more muted tones. But again, when you start to add the uh, water to this, you can really... I mean, look how gorgeous that's already looking. Um, and if you're worried about this bit here, can you see where your tip of that... Um, Pen, uh, sorry, my sparkle pen is, uh, just dab it off and literally when you dab that off, it becomes clear again and it, you literally just got to carry on uh, just, what's that word? What's that word? Um, stroking, not stroking. It's just cleaning your brush. It's cleaning your brush until it becomes clear. So just keep wiping it until it becomes clear. I've made my tissue nice and sparkly now doing that. Did you see <laughs> oh, that? I love that. that. Sparkly tissue. Uh, but look, honestly, these pencils... I am so excited about these pencils being on this show uh, because they are absolutely beautiful, Joe. They really are. And again, if I use my water brush, you're just showing you it's exactly the same. You're just popping a little bit of water down there. And then you can do other things as well. Do you know, like, do you know, we do the shaving, uh, shaving. Uh oh, wait a minute. Now, what are we going to say? What have you got there? <laughs> my palette knife. Oh, I I'm thought it was a knife pencil. for a moment. <laughs> I'm just going to scrape my bits. That's the best way you're to gonna describe it. I'm going to scrape. <laughs> oh, honestly, because I'm going to scrape your bits. Okay, I look forward to that. Let's watch Debbie scrape her bits. Debbie, what are you like? Because honestly. I wanted to stop myself from saying shaving. <laughs> so I thought that, that I thought that this was going to be the better way to do it, but that still didn't come out right. You could have um, said right. You so, could have said. Scraping your pencils. Yes, scraping my pencils. Yes. So, do you know the, the, I do this <laughs> technique with our um, with our aqua blends. You can do this technique because it is a water-based <laughs> product. Uh, but you can do exactly the same. So you just to get a little bit of a background, and I'm just going to do it on this bit because I know I've coloured this piece in there. But you can just take your palette knife or a craft knife, and you just scraping. I'm trying to be careful in what I'm saying. What time is it? It's 20 past seven at night. I don't want to get into bother. Um, oh, yeah. So you're just taking it's 11 the shavings. People are spitting their cornflakes out on the West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> you're just taking the shavings part of it. And then you get one of your water spritzers. And we do them here at Crafters Companion. You get your water spritzer and you give it a little spritz. And let me just make sure I'm spritzing the right direction. Uh, uh, but you can get that lovely... Be... <laughs> on tomorrow as well in our core tools as part of our spectrum one collection. But it's your confetti that. technique that we do with our uh, with our uh, color uh, with our aqua blends. You can do with these as well, so you can create some beautiful backgrounds. If I was doing that, um, I would probably pebio gum that out. What's the right word? Pebio drawing gum over the top of my coloured image I'm and not, then go in and colour it. Being so careful sense. not to say it. I'm being so careful in how I'm this saying is, things. This today, is, uh, so this is Debbie. This is I think Debbie's a bit tired for the last show which I love because it means that the innuendo is you know she ups it again not even not even on purpose you know um, 
which I just think is fabulous. Never stop, Debbie. Or you don't ever change. Uh, Gwyneth says, I love you, Debbie. That's all she says. Just that. <laughs> Debbie, I'm crying with laughter. You make me laugh so much, says Maria. Uh, Claire says, I love you two together. Shannon says, my favourite duo, De Joe and Debbie, uh, together on the TV. If you want to scrape your bits, uh, then all you need to do is grab hold of this. You said it, Debbie, not me. £16.99 or £22.95. And also, that scraping technique is just one of so many things you're going to be able to do with those. Right, do you want to have a look at the edgeables that we've got on the show? Because, look, you know, edgeables are absolutely awesome, aren't they? So what you're going to receive in here, you're going to get the diamond edgeable, firstly, which is this one just here. Debbie did a uh, demonstration on these this morning, and that is what you're going to be able to create with that. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? Uh, and then the next thing you've got, the next one you've got here is Jade Edge. And that one there uh, says Celebrate. We're getting an awful lot of uh, brilliant photos in uh, at the moment. I cannot wait to share them with you, if we're allowed. Uh, <laughs> apparently we've had one in that we can't show, so. <laughs> Right, Samantha has gone wild apparently is what I've just heard in my ear. Right, onwards and upwards, $7.99, $13.95 if you want to get those ones. Debbie's still giggling over there. We have opened a big old can of worms apparently I'm hearing. Right, we have got the Ultimate Pro and the Score Master available for you on the show. It was so popular on this morning the show. Uh, the Ultimate Pro is... Look, the Ultimate Pro basically is the foundation of Crafters Companion of, uh, of a business, as a business. It was uh, the first product uh, that, um, one of the first products that Sarah invented. Uh, it was made out of wood, actually, originally. It's still made uh, locally here in the Northeast as well. Uh, what you're gonna get today is you're gonna get all the usability of that score, of the um, Ultimate Pro, and you're gonna get the Score Master included as well. Now, there's so many things you can make with the score master if you did want to get yourself um even more inspiration there's loads of tutorials online for this but uh, if you wanted even more inspiration there is a usb on the website which you can purchase should you wish to uh, but you can see here just a snapshot of some of the awesome things you're going to be able to make with this ultimate pro i think it's a case of you know i think really every crafter should have one of these in their stash if you want to grab it today as a club inspired platinum member you get it for 31.99 or 55.96 uh, if you want to get your hands on yours. Uh, right, very busy start to this craft vault. We're gonna do pictures in about 10 minutes time. So if you wanna send us some in, now is your chance. We do need some more of you lot in fancy dress. Uh, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk is where you need to send them. Right, ultimate pro time, Debbie. I know you love uh, this machine and you guys at home absolutely loved it in this morning's installment of the show. Why do we need an Ultimate Pro? Why should have every crafter have one of these? I'll tell you why, Joe. It is the, literally, a, oh, it's a crafter's companion, this. It really, really is. Pardon the pun there. But this is a craft system in a case. It's a portable carry case that covers boxes, cards, envelopes, envel envelope boxes, getting late Joe. Uh, lots of different types styles of cards. It's a ball maker, it's a paper trimmer, it's a box maker as well. It's absolutely fabulous. If you've never seen this before, where have you been? Because this is one of Sarah's and it isn't the first thing that she launched but it was it was very back near the very beginning. Obviously everybody knows the enveloper was the first product that our Sarah thought of about making envelopes uh, to fit the cards rather than the other way around. Cards being fitted that's what started it all off. And then she thought about it and this little beauty came along, which is our brilliant Ultimate Pro. And it is something I use day in, day out when I'm crafting. And I'll tell you for why. I'm a little bit of a tight northern girl and I don't like buying cards and envelopes anymore because I think all them pennies that you spend on pre-cut ones and pre-done envelopes, why would you when you can make them all on here? Because you can make every style card you want from your straightforward cards to your easel cards to your triple easel cards, double easel from your uh, gatefold, your, oh, I'm trying to think of all the other ones, Joe, there's so many concertina cards, pop out cards, K cards. There are so many different things that you're going to be able to make just from this side of the board. 
And there's also these embossed images on here, which means if you want to create some nice fancy edges around your boxes, you're going to use these beauties down here. And then this is your um, size guide to where you pop all your uh, card bases on to make your cards. It's a lovely carry case as well. And it's also got on this side, this is where your envelope, enveloper because it makes envelopes but it's got another extra little ridge which means it makes your envelope boxes as well so you can go awesome. in with the extras and you've also got some more embossed details on here from literally embossing corners of envelopes you've got these beautiful little features here and these really do work you've got your bow maker uh, that's here at the moment nothing in it but there's little pegs inside and i'm going to show you inside the box because i am always conscious that there are people out there that still think why would i need one of these I honestly promise you, I was gifted one by my Auntie Jean. Um, she literally saw a purple sp sparkly one on an anniversary show that Sarah did on, uh, I think it was on Crate and Craft many, many oh, moons Carol ago. Oh, Carol was talking about a purple sparkly purple one. Purple sparkly one. There is oh, a purple sorry, it was sparkly P it was one. PPE Pam, sorry. Yes, I've got the sparkly board, the Schoolmaster board that came out. I haven't got the purple sparkly because they were limited edition, let me tell you. Um, and I don't know what my auntie did with it because I got quite a lot of things when she passed, bless her. Uh, but the purple sparkly Sparkly one was missing, so oh. I was a bit upset. However, this is a fabulous unit and it doesn't matter what colour it is in. So literally when you open, now when you open it up, Joe, little top tip, make sure it's on this envelope side because when you open it up, you've got, and you can see my other boards, there are other boards that you can purchase uh, in the range of this, which is varies from your little handbags to your boxes, uh, to beautiful bonbon boxes. Uh, and then we've got other little additional things that we can add onto there, which is, this is just another boxer board on here, another scoreboard, which is absolutely fabulous. Whoops, card from this morning, move that to one side. When you open <laughs> it up in the center, you can see here now, you've got your box maker. So this is your box lid side. This is your box base side. You've got some more beautiful embossed details here for all your extra pieces on your boxes and your cards and your envelopes. You've got an inches measurement on this side. And on this side, you've got a centimeters measurement. In the middle, you've got your space for your uh, plastic um, folder to go in there to create a nice sturdy base. And I'll show you in that in a moment, uh, but also where your paper trim is going to work. Then you've got all your pop out cape uh, features on here, which is the ones that are going to make those special cards. When you pop out in the middle, you've got these beautiful designs on here from um, a butterfly, a star. You've got a lovely, um, like an arch shaped window and then a lovely rectangular shape as well. And then when you open up the last page, my bad ribbon's still in there. Um, you've got your booklet. Now this booklet is going to be invaluable. And let me tell you, when I first got mine, I use this all the time because it goes through absolutely everything from your card making, box making, bow making, envelope making. So you've got your storage cart, your compartment, your paper trimmer. It goes through every single thing from your card making to your different style of cards, uh, from your concertina and trifold and slimline cards, your jump up cards, your pop out cards, your K cards, your bow making, your box technique, your shaped boxes. And there's lots of different shaped boxes you can do on here. Your magic ruler technique, your Aperture centers, your wedge boxes, love a good wedge box. Envel, envel, oh, I can't even speak now, Joe. Envelope, Envelope making. making. <laughs> yeah. And then it gives you little tips as well on there. You've got some sizes that you can make for your envelopes. So a C6, a C5, your DL envelopes, five inch square, mini, mini slim ones, and things like that. Lots and lots of, you know, all these extra tuition, all at your fingertips that you can come to time and time and time again. And you can store that in there with um, confidence that you can go to at any time you want you get a couple of scoring tools as well and your scoring tools you've got two that have got ball and ball um uh, rounded oh i can't think now rounded ends <laughs> right so you score it. uh ball um your scoring tool scoring tool your scoring so you've tools. got a scoring tool yeah, and a burnishing got, tool right so they, thank you because they've got three different sizes of the ends there and then you've got a lovely <laughs> flat end as well so you've got three... oh what is wrong with me i can't speak tonight so you've got, so you've three... got three ball tools and three a flat ball end. tools thank you joe that's the word i was looking for three ball tools and a flat end one as well and they come in there and they're stored in the compartment too you've got your plastic <laughs> 
Joe. I'm not laughing, it. honestly. I'm all right. Uh, there's I'm your, the I'm all right. There is your middle part that you're going to put in, and then you've got your bow maker. I'm going to fetch this out, and your little mouse there as well, which is your paper trimmer. So when you pop this in, Joe, you've got it into place. It keeps your box nice and sturdy, and it acts as your paper trimmer, and your uh, blade that's inside there is what cuts your cardstock. Awesome. When Alejandra, take, oh, go on then, uh, sorry, yeah. Alejandra, just to answer the question, says it a UK or a US version? It's a UK version, isn't it, this one, Debbie? It is indeed. But if you're using UK cardstock sizes, A3 and A4, uh, that you're buying from us, then it would be a great idea to go for this, even if you're in the US. I know there's a lot of you in the US that have the UK and the US um, products. The UK ones to use with your UK card stocks, your US ones to use with your US card stocks. Absolutely. Now, Joe, I thought what I'd do is show you a quick, I mean, one thing I'm not very good at is tying bows. Do you know how you see some of these people like Craig Bowmaker hands? Yeah, he's great with yeah, the bows, he's fantastic. isn't he? And he does this, jams the same, done. Debbie, fingers and thumbs, no can do. So I like my bow maker, Joe. I like my bow maker to make simple bows because all you're going to do is put your pegs in. You've got three pegs in total, so you can make some different style bows as well. Uh, shall we go with a double one, Joe? Shall we go in with a double one? So I'm going to wrap that round twice. And what you're going to do, let me just make sure I'm doing that the right way around. <laughs> uh, Debbie, come on, you know girl. Come now, on, girl. It's late you know at night. That Sarah can only do it back to front now. What, you mean this? So even, really? if she, even if she makes a bow at home on the Ultimate Pro, she has to make it facing away from herself like she's demonstrating on TV. Bless she her. She can't do it facing forward. Because <laughs> oh, she's well, so used to doing it for so many years facing the other way from the oh, Well, camera, she so will because, I mean, I can't, well, I, can't, I can believe that, actually. But it's so simple. You wrap it around your pegs, you're going to pop that through, and then you can tie your bow off and look at that. You've got a perfect bow, and all you're going to do when you pop those out is you're just going to manipulate it into shape and then cut your little tail ends as well. So again, really, really simple to do. Let me just put that there so you can see it. A lovely bow, uh, whether it be your satin ribbons or your other style ribbons, absolutely fabulous. I love this bow really maker. Nice. But I'm going to undo that, Joe, because Someone... I put it in there for my demonstrating purposes. Absolutely. Uh, some confusion over online as to uh, whether or not it comes with the USB. It does not come with the USB. Uh, I can confirm the USB is available. However, you are getting the Score Master totally free of charge, which is awesome. A lot of people love this, Debbie. Uh, Susie Teasers, I use it almost every day. It's a great tool for beginners as well as seasoned crafters. Uh, for holidays, I have the dark purple sparkly Ultimate First Crafters Companion on HSN. Um, Catherine saying the Ultimate Pro is one of my first purchases. I love using it for just about everything. Shannon says, the, uh, the pro uh, can make everything but dinner. <laughs> there you go. That sums it up, doesn't it? That is so true. It can make absolutely everything. But do you know what else it comes with? I would not be without this. This For free. is absolutely free but it's my go-to tool because it is a scoreboard but it's also that box maker as well so if you don't want to carry your box around your, your ultimate around with you you can use this and it's got on the bottom you've got your you've got your inches on one side you have your uh, centimeters on the other side you won't have these lines on this is just mine um it's got my name on as well just to prove that one uh, but we also have a box lid and a box base on both sides of these to make your boxes incredibly easy and that's on both sides Joe, whether you measure in inches or whether you measure in centimetres, it is a fabulous tool to have in your crafty stash, let me tell you. And you can make boxes with ease. Shall we make a quick box? Have we got time to make a quick box? Have we got time to make a big box, Have producer we got time Laura? To make a quick box? I yeah, will make I'll have to be it a so quick, big, super quickly. A quick big box, if that's all right. Quick big box. I've got two pieces of cardstock measured the same way. I can't remember the size. I think it's 10 by 10. Um, I'm going to push up the pattern paper to the box lid side. We're going to make this uh, two inches deep. So we're going to go all the way around, measuring from the top with your box lid, top to bottom, all the way around. And literally, that is your box lid made. And all you're going to do is literally then just score around each one. Make sure you've given it a good burnish. Now, like Debbie's doing here, let me just go back into my grooves. I just want to make sure I've got my nice uh, crisp line. So I'm going to go back down that again. This is a nice heavy patterned paper. So I just want to make sure I'm going all the way around. And that I'm using as well, either way around with your ball tool, you can use your ball tool feature or the flat ended one. And then you're just going to literally what? use that as a, a, a burnisher. Is that the right word? Bone yeah. folder. 
foam folder. Yep, that's the word I'm looking for. And you're going to pop that over. And that's all it is for your box lid. Let's pop that on. And then same with the box base, move that to one side. Take your paper, go on to the other side of the board. So we're going on to the right hand side this time, working from the bottom. So in the two groove, because we did a two centre, two inches, sorry, all the way around. And again, and I just do this. I literally take it into the two, take my ball tool up to the top and back down again for ease of use. And it really is very, very simple to use. Make sure I'm on my right line there, Joe so easy and i know you guys that have got one will 100 percent agree with me on how easy it is to make your box joe while i'm doing this do you want to be reading any comments yeah i mean there are so many comments coming in debbie um karen says uh what is the difference between the color tints and the color blends we uh, address that one hazel says absolutely love debbie robinson she has such a good sense of humor she's so knowledgeable valerie sent some pictures in we're gonna be having a look at those in just a second oh, I can't wait. uh catherine says uh, just when i thought i was done shopping for the day uh debbie demonstrates the pencils oh well time to pull out the credit card again uh carol co says she took i took my rocker blocks to craft a ganza we were missing for over a year. I finally found them <laughs> under a seat in my car. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh. goodness, Jan, what are you like? She That's nicked hilarious. mine earlier, so I wasn't surprised. Maybe I thought you thought she'd nick yours as well, um, Carol. <laughs> Gwyneth says, I love you, Debbie. Shannon says, uh, my favourite duo, Joe and Debbie. Maria says, Debbie, I'm crying with laughter. You make me laugh so much. Claire says she loves us together. Uh, Debbie and Joe gave me hiccups from holding in my laughter too much, says Gilmore. <laughs> uh, Brownie says, I love you two together. You really make me giggle. Um, just so you know, I don't choose, by the way, uh, <laughs> which comments we read out. What happens is we've got social media superstars that are always monitoring. Because if you just think sometimes, when I read out all the nice ones, people think, oh gosh, he's just reading out all those comments about himself and Debbie again, picking all the good ones out. <laughs> this is so good. I'm sure, you know, the people that work in our social media team also pick out all the good ones because they like to make us feel amazing. And you guys do that on a daily basis. Mary says, OMG, Debbie, I keep learning new techniques every time I tune in. Diane says, I love Debbie. She's the most sweetest, caring, compassionate person. I love oh, you, Debbie. Oh, that is um, so nice. Thank you. Carol Coe says... lovely thing to say. So lovely. Carol Coe says, what are you like, Debbie? Today is turning into a fabulous day of bloopers. I will <laughs> never forget about that carrot. Uh, oh. <laughs> Maury oh. says, Debbie, you're just natural self making me laugh so so much Susie says thank you Debbie I'm going to try it right now coloring with those sparkle pens uh, Shannon saying the ultimate pro is the first thing she bought Patricia's had her ultimate pro a decade now um, who else we got in here Catherine Riley says first one she purchased uh, Carol so Carol said I would love to hang out with Debbie and Joe two of the nicest <laughs> and funniest people how lovely is oh. that Snooze you lose your old Sonia's getting in on the action as well she says she, I love my ultimate pro it is great yeah, do you know all these lovely comments that we keep getting? I want you to come and join us on Craft House. Yes. That's what I want you to come and join us on. But look how easy that was to make a box there. You can see just how fabulous. Chosen paper colour ways there, but how gorgeous. Quick, easy, deep box. Absolutely beautiful. What's going on in your in box, seconds. Ooh. Ooh. Um, Bailey's truffles. Which ones? Bailey's, Bailey's truffles. truffles. Yes. Introduce them to my secret Santa. Because there were some Bailey truffles in my Bailey's glass. Did you work? Did you, did you find out who your secret Santa was? Uh, somebody gave me a clue, but I forgot. Uh. <gasps> was it? I'll wait till I see him. I'm going to have to say thank you. It, apparently, it was our lovely Liam. Laurie, just, just giving it all away there. She just, she just offered it straight up. Did anybody find out who Craig's secret Santa were? No. <laughs> That's Craig hilarious. Craig got a great one, didn't he? He was fabulous. No Did knows. you see it? Absolutely love it. Mine was amazing. Oh, I had Laura had uh, had mine. I got some uh, uh, avocado accoutrement. I do love an avocado. Um, uh, I also got some beer and chocolate. I mean, does it get any better than that? Absolutely. Gin and tonic after eights, no less. I haven't eaten them yet. <gasps> Do you know, I was at home last night and I was scrambling around for chocolate everywhere and I forgot I had them. I went through nearly, I went through nearly all the cupboards. But the thing was, they were in the big cupboard where the washing machine is because when I got home from work last week, I put them, everything in there from work. <laughs> oh, I'm so upset at myself now. Right, fancy <gasps> dress photos. Ah, oh, excited for this. Right, let's have a look. Karen is up uh, first. Karen Ebling and her husband oh, here. 
Oh, look very how fancy. dapper you two look there. Um, I love that. Very 1920s, 1920s roaring 20s. <gasps> Valerie Sutherland, the king and queen. Oh, that is absolutely brilliant. I'm not sure brilliant. which one's which. <laughs> that is fabulous. <laughs> uh, they look awesome. Laura, producer Laura, is a unicorn. <laughs> there we are, an inflatable. <laughs> An inflatable unicorn at that. If you want to keep sending your pictures, you can. Studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. I want to remind you about the stamps. I did have a question a minute ago asking me uh, about the size of the big background stamps. They are eight by eight. You get both of them in here, which is awesome. So you're going to get the newspaper collage, which is this one just here. This uh, big stamp on this side is an eight by eight size. So I think I'm, I'm right in saying it's the biggest stamp we do. You've also got all of the embellishing stamps here that go with it. You've got the sentiments in there as well. You've got a little fingerprint, you know, if you're getting a little bit uh, CSI, craft scene investigation. Um, we've then got, let me show you what that makes as well, because I love this. Uh, I think that's an awesome card. Loads of panels, it's been heat embossed all of this. Loads of panels cut out, <coughs> layered up. Sentiment and heat embossed and some gorgeous little schmetterlings on there as well. We've We've got the Distressed Harlequin as well. That's the other one that you're going to get. It's a really nice background. Great to use for more masculine cards, which is why we've teamed it up with those more masculine sentiments for you as well. And a very simple card. This has been a heat embossed, resist technique with some water reactives. And you've got that beautiful uh, faux enameled sentiment there, which has got that printed side under it as well. Really, really awesome. 19.99 would normally get you one. Today, it will get you two. £16 for both of those if you are a Club Inspire Platinum member, which is absolutely awesome. Now, next up, we're going to be taking a look at our Pop Out dies. Special friend and with love are the two that you are going to get. Let me show you how that translates and what you're going to get here with these. 40% of the stock of these have sold out and gone. So it's basically all about you making the inside of your card as exciting as the outside of your card, as you can see, uh, just there. So it gives you that really lovely uh, dimension cut into there. Uh, there's your special friend, and there is your with love. And again, it's all about that mechanism on the inside here. I think a lot of people would presume automatically that they're gonna be very hard to use these, Debbie, because Absolutely they do not. give you something that looks quite intricate and complicated, I think. But this is the magic here, because this is what creates that with ease. I'm going to hold that down there so you can see this. And when we go in close, you're going to be able to see that you've got the cutout line going all the way along. But what you've got here are the score lines running on the top, running on the bottom. So the cutout feature is just on either edge and then on all the wording inside. But you can see you've got your score lines made for you. And I love these. It's got a quirky font to this one. Really nice, bold font. You can use it on the inside of your cards, but if you've watched us over the last couple of days with the pop-out numbers, you can put them on the front of your card as well. So you can have a double effect. You could have a double, you could have a double pop-out feature, one on the front, one on the inside. But these are the dies that are going to make it so easy. That is a fabulous price not just for this one you're getting this one and another one for free and this really is going to be one of those wow factors when you open it up now i want to show you how easy this is to do because it really is so i've taken a piece of cardstock and i have measured it now there is a little cheat sheet in the middle of here telling you how to use this now the thing that you must remember is don't score in the middle of your cardstock just draw a line. So on this one, I've taken a piece of cardstock. And if I remember at measurements, it is 10 inches by 7 inches. So 10 by 7. And then halfway down at 5 inches, I've put a score, uh, sorry, a pencil line all the way through. And that is where these little notches are going to sit. And inside the die, don't know if you can see that, but there's a couple of notches on either side. And that is what I'm going to line up onto my line, which is why I've drawn my pencil quite heavy. And what I'm just going to do now, Joe, is I'm going to grab my low tack tape and I'm just going to pop a couple of pieces over there to hold it into place. So one on that side, one on that side, and then we're going to run it through our Gemini. Now, with this being a bigger die and a bigger style card, I'm using my larger Gemini plates. However, you can use uh, the smaller one as well, depending on where you're fitting it onto your card. Now, when I pop this on, it is a thin metal die, so we're going to put our plastic shim on. We're going to put our magnetic shim and we're going to finish that off with our last cutting plate and pop that there. And then we're going to run that through the Gemini and let the 
die do all the hard work. So feed it through your machine, let the sensors pick that up, run it through, and then we're going to do the bit that I find interesting. It's the manipulation. We've cut the score, we've cut the lines there for the cards to pop out and put the score lines in. What this part is, is just manipulating it into that shape. So again, I'm just going to move the plates out of the way for a second, Joe. So let's move that to one side. And then we're going to lift that up. And now you can see it's die cut the word with love. And you can see that quite easily. What you're going to do is you're going to grab your scoreboard. So if you've got your score master, you're going to use your score master because the bit of you can see this part here, Joe, is all being cut out. And you can see your score lines are all on the top of here on the words. What we're going to do though, Joe, is we need to put the card now fold in the centre. So this is why I have my black line on my mark on my board. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to just go from this end to the first part of cut and I'm going to leave this. I'm not going to put a score line going through there because that will just make the word all crumple up and we don't want to do that. So what we're going to do then is move from this end right to the outer end as well. Now there is a pencil mark on there. So what I'm going to do is get my <coughs> pencil with the rubber now because I've used what I need to use and scored where I need to score. So all I'm going to do is rub out the <laughs> rub them. I'm just hearing PPE Pam sent some pictures in of uh, fancy dress uh, to us and apparently, we'll have a look at them in a second, but you've outdone yourself <laughs> Pam apparently is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Now, another little cheat way that you can do, do you know the score lines that you've got in place? If you want to just give it an extra little um, oomph, want of a better word, you can go back over it with your score tool to, to just a little tip there that you can do. However, this is the bit that you're now going to uh, just tease into its place. Now, normally when I've got my, no my nice normal TV nails on, but with the way of the world at the moment, <laughs> They, I can't have them done. So I've got my nice short stubby nails here. So they're going to have to act as my, um, as my little scoring tool. Uh, but you're just teasing the front part out. Now, that's the first bit done. And we're going to reinforce that when we score it with our scoring tool. But what I just want to do is pop in. And if it makes it easier, just pick it up and do it with your fingers. Do whatever works for you. That's, that's the best bit of advice I can give you. And then all you're going to do, Joe, is you're going to poke your hole through. We're going to, going to literally fold these, I'm so sorry, we're going to fold these in now and then literally all we're going to do is kind of tease that to fall into the right place. So again, just use your fingers or your, your nail as well and push that in and then push those bits down as well. I hope that makes sense, Joe. But again, you could go from the back and give it a little squeeze and tease it into its natural shape because we've done all the hard work. That's going to cut out and fold now. And when I just fold that in, you're just going to push those words down, fold that in, hold that into place, push that down and give it and it, it just teases it into the natural place that it's supposed to but what you're going to do is you're going to take your bone folder and this is the bit that you need to do just to make sure that it's all nice and crisp lines so you give a nice little fold with your bone folder over those score lines there we go and make sure they're all nice and crisp because when you come to do the pop out element now it will pop up really lovely and cleanly can you see that from the side let me just push that back there so you can see it. In fact, do I need to go forward or backwards? There we go. They're fabulous. Now, to make it pop a little bit more, Joe, I'm going to... I've already got one done there earlier, but it doesn't matter because we're going to use this. I've taken a piece of black cardstock and I've just measured it a quarter of an inch um, bigger. So this was a ten and a quarter inch by seven, seven and a quarter inch. And again, I've just scored it in the middle. I'm just doing this so you can see that contrast. Uh, but... Look at that on the front of a card. That would look absolutely fabulous if you put that to the front of a card and add the pop-out down feature. You could have it at the front as well. It doesn't have to just be on the inside. Now, your favourite piece of... Um, now, I know there's plenty of... Um, Print of discussion about how to stick this in. I know I saw who uses the tape pen. I prefer my wet glue, and there's a reason why. It gives me a bit of movability time so I can get it into place. What you're wanting to do, though, and I'm just going to pop my glue onto this side. I've used a, a, a very patterned paper, but what I'm just using is popping the glue around the outside. I'm not going anywhere near the inside where those words are. 
But what I'm just going to do is pop this. There we go. And this is going to now go into this card. Now, when you pop it in, let's just go this way so you can see it. You're going to just take it up to the fold of the card. So let me just do it from this way. It'd probably be easier, Joe. We're going to pop that into that fold there. And then you're just going to stick that down. Now, when you use wet glue, it means you have got that time to get it into place. You can wiggle it around until you're happy that it's in the fold of the card. Uh, card fold. <laughs> Words are escaping me, Joe. It's a little bit late <laughs> and it's been a it's long we day. Normally, we normally two glasses of wine in at back at the house <laughs> by now. That's why, Debbie, you know. I know. Now, I'm going to just take this from the other end and then I'm just going to pop the glue over this part. A little bit easier with this one, Joe, because there's no words cut out. So it's a little bit easier. And then fold that over, turn it back round, push it into the fold so you get that nice crisp... And I say, I say this for a reason, it gives you that nice fold in, so it makes it nice and neat when you come into this fold here. You want it to line down properly. And then literally give it a nice rub with your hand on both sides. Make sure that it's got that pop-out element perfect, which it has. And then I'm just going to decorate the front with another piece. Let me just make sure that is the front. Yes, it is. With another piece of card. And all that's left for me to do is add the embellishment. Uh, so you can add your things like your gems or your other... Oh, I know what. Joe, I could make it stand out even more. I can make... Because at the moment, look, absolutely fine. But it just needs a little bit of something else. So, Joe, have you got a minute while I just finish yeah, off with this? Yeah, you go for it, Debbie. Uh, Fabulous. You can get both of them. Don't forget what you're getting here. Let me show you what you're getting. Getting two of them. Uh, so you're just getting with love, which is this one just here. And again, all of that lovely dimension there. And you're also getting special friend as well, which is that one. If you're a Club Inspire... I'll get that open in a minute. There we go. If you're a Club Inspire Platinum member, £8 is what you're looking at to get those two. So I think even if you're thinking in the new year, do you know what? I'm going to be a bit, bit more careful. We've got some really great deals in the craft folk that just give you that little bit of, you know, craftability or you know, a little bit of something new that you're after, a bit of a treat that are not going to break the bank. We really have got you covered. Um, Aisha was asking what paper pad that was that you were using, Debbie. What was that, Joe? Aisha was asking what paper pad that was that you were using for that... The paper card pad, stock. give me a second, I'm going to bob down and have a look. Do you know that beautiful pearlised card that we use? Yes. Let me just grab it. It is from the, um, this paper pad. It is the Floral Fantasy paper pad. Floral Fantasy. I knew it was floral, but I couldn't remember what the other bit was. Yes. And it's the pearlised one, isn't it? It's beautiful yeah. pearlised finish to it. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous, Joe. Beautiful. Now, we've got a great deal for you on the Rocker Blocks. They are an essential uh, when it comes to your stamping. Uh, because what these are going to do is it's great for big stamping platforms are wonderful when you're doing big things or one bit when you want to add a little embellishment there maybe for the rocker block what it means is engineered in a way that's kind of just like slightly arched if you can see that there and what it means is as you roll over the stamp and the stamp the the um, medium you're stamping onto it means it applies that pressure as it goes along which is why you get such a clean clear crisp stamp every single time that you choose to do it. Uh, they are patented as well, Rocker Blocks, to a Sierra Crafts Companion, so you'll only find them here with us, and it's a great price to get those. Again, Platinum Members UK, £8 uh, for both of those, which is awesome. How are you getting on over there, Debbie? I'm doing fine, Joe. I've just decided that I thought I'm going to make my word in the middle pop out a little bit more, because let's not forget, this is a nice word sentiment that you can use. So I've just run it through on some plain black cardstock, and this time I'm just releasing it from there without putting those tabs on. So I'm just using that first score line as a guide as to where I want to release it to actually then create um, the word sentiment on its own with love and that's another thing another bit of that versatility that you've got with this so now you've got the with love which would look ideal on the front of your card and then decorate it up with some maybe florals and some extra gems but what I want to do is make me word in the middle pop out a little bit more so just by adding that on there and I'm just going to trim off my bottom just for a second, just bear awesome. with me. Uh, loads of people love these. Karen says, um, sorry, Diane says, I have all of the pop-out dies and I really, really love them. Angela says, thank you for the pop-out demo. I've got one in a mystery bag. I didn't know what uh, to use it for. So this has inspired me because uh, Karen was saying how much of a great teacher you are. Uh, it was Aisha asking about the paper pad. Belinda said, Debbie has been amazing today and oh. lots of fun to watch as well. Uh, what was the size of the black card uh, that you used as the um, card blank here, Debbie? Do you know? So, yes. 
Yes, so I'd measured my paper pattern card as 10 by 7 yeah. and scored it, uh, sorry, and drew the line on at 5 five inches on the 10, ten inches line, uh, ten inches side. Yep. Uh, my card blank itself was just a quarter of an inch bigger, so it was 10 and a quarter by 7 and a quarter and fold it in half. And that just gives you that tiny, what I call a quarter of an inch uh, piece there around the edge, just gives it a nice finish rather than having it flat. So it's just a little, a little extra tip, uh, Hot tip there. Hot tip. Oh, about hot tip. Hot fancy tip. Fancy a hot tip. Ooh, I think fancy you a hot a tip, Joe. A top tip. I do you think, know what else? A top tip. If you want to do a sh shadow drop, you can just move it slightly along, and you've oh. got a shadow drop as well. So I'm just going to place it though over the top there, just with a hint of a shadow. And all that does is make it pop out a little bit more. Now, how long did that take me to put that kinetic card piece together? And it literally was. Are you ready for that show? Let's go in close. And I haven't added extra embellishments but look woohoo there you go you've got that lovely pop out feature we're going to hold it look at george's going in close trust him to go in close yeah but Ooh. there's no room for any error is there on these cameras no, now these no cameras. room for these any angles error. are awesome aren't they <laughs> but the die is what does all the hard work. Don't think that because I stand here doing this for a living that it's so easy to do. Honestly, the die is what creates that wonderful wow factor. It does all the hard work for you. You just have the fun creating. And it's on at that fantastic price tonight. 9 99 not for one, but for two, which I just think is insane. That's why I love these craft vault shows. It's great. Mm, they are fantastic. Joe? I've just been out into the car park, Debbie, just for the show. Yep. It is like an ice rink out there. Oh. The no. water that was out there has frozen over. No! So when you leave tonight, honestly, I felt like Torville and Dean at the same time out there. Let's take a moment to recap all the fabulous products that you've seen in this Craft Vault show because there has been uh, some awesome deals. Starting with the Gee Ultimate Pro, which of course has come along with that free scoreboard included as well. $39.99 or $69.95 if you are in the US. It's a UK version, but if you are, if you are purchasing UK cardstock sizes, then it would be a really wise idea to get yourself one of the UK size pros. Uh, now, also got the large background stamp distress collection, 36 elements in here. Almost half of that has gone now. That massive eight by eight stamp in there and then all of those other embellishing stamps around it, 19.99 or 25.95 for that. We've got the color tints. These have been extremely popular today. Uh, 16.99 or 22.95, uh, that should get you one. It gets you both of them and they are a, a water, um, uh, a watercolour pencil that then has that graphite element within there as well. The storage has been popular as it always is. Whether you're uh, going to use this with the magnetic ones that you're going to get included there as well, or you're going to use this uh, and get some of those acrylic panels in there as well. $14.99 or $14.95, depending on where you are shopping. Now those pop-outs as well, remember those, $9.99 or $12.95. If you want to get your hands on the pop-outs, you're going to get both of them. You're going to get a special friend and you're also going to get with love as well, which is awesome. Make sure uh, you grab hold of those. Uh, some comments still coming in. Malia saying, uh, been enjoying the show with you guys today. Loving the demos. Great to chat with you two live again. Great to chat with you live as well, Malia. Thank you. Uh, Angie says she loves the look of the uh, drop shadow. And Sonia, snooze you lose your old Sonia, uh, says very nice demonstration as well. Uh, we're going to leave you with a pitch. I love that we We've even changed her name on the picture now to PPE, PPE <laughs> Pam. She signs her emails off PPE Pam now as well. PPE, uh, PPE Pam, I said, as in this uh, <laughs> fancy dress. Hee <laughs> 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 uh, We love that. We call Pam PPE Pam because during the first lockdown, uh, she joined us as, uh, I think it was either a craft house guest or was it a craft ambassador? I can't remember one of the two. And uh, she was making her own PPE out of acetate and sort of gaffer tape and all sorts of <laughs> fabulous things. So from there on in, uh, she's been known as PPE Pam. Pam, we love you. Uh, keep sending us uh, loads of fabulous things in. Now, that is the end of the day here on Crafters TV. I, feel, I don't think we could do another show because I think me and Debbie would end up 
either doing so much innuendo we, they you know, get rid of us, or maybe even you know an accidental swear or something like that. <laughs> Crafters TV after hours, open all hours. Maybe that could be a thing. But Debbie, massive thanks to you. It's been Thank a pleasure to be back much, with you. Thank you very much, my lovely. I've really enjoyed it. It's been a long day, but I've really, really enjoyed it. What great fun we've had. We've had some great laughs, great comments. Thank you for those lovely comments. It really is well appreciated. We're back to do it all again tomorrow, Joe, aren't we? Although, not all of the shows. Not all of it. Just uh, Craft Folk, you and I, that core Crow Folk. Oh, there's some good deals on there. Uh, and, of course, we have got Masterclass pop-out boxes for you as well. So make sure you join us for that. Big thanks to Debbie. Uh, big thanks to you guys at home. Thanks to the guys in the gallery who are over there somewhere uh, and the rest of the team. Tracy, who's outside. Uh, it was great. Uh, we'll see you back here tomorrow for a brand new day. Take care.